Hello, Cyan Cockmire here, and welcome to the next Toa Mach 2015 Yes review I'm doing of this time Wei Ruha, Master of Wisdom. I'm done calling them Akaman Wei Ruha Okoto. Makes the title of the video too long. Um, yeah, so, of course, this would be Akame's partner, made from. Kopaka Master of Ice, Lua Master of Jungle, and Dali Master of Water. And... One thing I would like to point out... These armor pieces, they are from Gali. I know Gali wasn't used in the making of the arms, because all of her pieces, or her arms and leg pieces were used in the making of the legs, or the upper legs. It, it looks cool. I don't care. I, I could replace it with some cute orange piece from Lua, but I'm not going to because then it would look a bit too small. I figured, yes, I would have to use the cute orange piece. I use the evergreen pieces for back armor. But yeah. Let's get to building. This review is going to be split into different sections, sort of like Akame. I'm going to do the body. Then the arms, then the legs, and connect it all together. This episode, or this part, will mainly focus on the body, and maybe the legs if I have time. I meant arms. I obviously meant arms. Wait, Ruha's gearbox is Gali's gearbox. If you don't like the yellow gears on Gali, then use some black gears. I know the other Toa have them. But I'm going to be using the yellow geared galley gearbox. So to do is you take the gearbox, you put that sinker in there, you use four length axles, put these two ball things on there, slide them in, slide the gear in place, put that thing in there, and slide it down, put the gear on there of a blue pin, and you're done. So that way when you turn, or when you would turn the gear, only this arm will move, which doesn't, which means that way Ruha won't be moving his shield, which is a good thing. And you're also going to put a black pin in there. Uh, as for the body, you're just going to take it. You're going to put a blue pin on there. For, uh, or, uh, you're going to put a blue pin on there. You're going to put a blue pin and a gear on there. I'm sorry if I, so if I sound sick. I kind of am. Now, um, what you're going to do next is you're going to take a seven length axle and put two yellow gears and that thing I'm going to slide it in there and you're going to take another small gear put it in like that you gotta put it in the body like that and also a um, long blue pin there Gonna stick another gear on there. And you're good. And then you can take the yellow eyes, put it on there, take Opaka shoulder pads, put them on there. I might be the only one that thinks these look like clamshells. Anyway. Uh, try that again, camera. Going to put Gali's thing on Lua's chest piece. Put it on the body. This thing is awful. You're going to take this and put it on like that. Going to take these things, put Gali spikes on them, and put them on there. So I slide them in. And there. You know it's body. Are you happy, camera? You better be. Okay, I went through that kind of fast. My camera did not want to cooperate. It said it had almost full battery life, yet it kept running on a battery. It's weird, but yeah. Back armor, front armor, put those on that piece. These will be for the arms. 
clamshell shoulder pads, yellow eyes, golly gearbox. If I rushed through the golly gearbox and didn't know how to make the golly gearbox, get the instructions for golly. That's all I can recommend to you. But yeah. Onto the arms. So, here is what you'll need for one arm. This being the arm that holds the weapon. These are the pieces you will need. So let's start with the weapon. Because as you can see, the weapon's a bit complex. Except it's really not. So, let's connect... that. Then connect that. Now we have an arm. So then what you want to do... Want to stick this axle in the hand. Slide these pieces down. Then put... Yeah, okay, hang on. Sorry about that, someone came into the room. Um, okay, but yeah, you put the Lua sword there, because we'll be needed needing his axe for another thing. Then you're gonna take that, put it there, take that, put it there, and one half is done. You're gonna take short axle, this thing, these things, and the spear. And you're good. Now you just put on the armor. Um, and let me actually... Okay, actually, you're going to attach this like this. So that way it looks like this. Then you're going to attach this on there. And then you do white armor. And then it's all good. Yay. Yeah, 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 that's the arm. It's literally it. Good. So, um, uh, yeah, you just do it again. Do I really need to commentate over this? Yes? No. Oh. Too bad. Okay, well, I might as well explain this. So, um... What I could do... Is this. That limits... The sh posability of the shield, because now it's just directly connected to the hand. So I do the much better thing, and I use Kopaka Spear End... Or... Yeah, spear end, and I do this, and now, the shield has a lot more articulation and is just all around better. You can just sort of slide it like that. And it's all good forever, yay. So, um, yeah, that's what you do. You use Kopaka spear end, make the shield a lot better. If you like the shield the way it was, then uh, don't use the spear end. But yeah, that's the ever arm. Nothing else really, I must just say.